Hi, this is Travis from the Downtown Salon. I'm here today with my model, Laurel. We're gonna do a 40s inspired hairstyle, but I'm gonna show you how to do a modern take on it. So her hair is very straight, and for this updo, I wanna add a little bit of a mass to it, so it gives it a little more body. And I'm gonna show you a little trick with a flat iron on how to do that. So you take your section, and you do a light back comb. You do a light spray, and then you take your flat iron, and go over it twice. So I'm just working around her head, following her head shape. Okay, so now I finished all the flat ironing. And it's really important, you have all these little panels, but you want them to cool before you brush them out. So this is the fun part. And it's okay that your hair is gonna get a little fuzzy and big, because that's gonna make it easier to work with. And it just kind of gives it more of that modern feel that we're looking for. So I have it all brushed out, and you can see with this technique that I've created a lot of mass, even though I'm gonna make the, the shape a lot smaller, I still wanted this sort of fluffy texture to work with. So now I'm creating my twist. And the, the way I'm doing this is I'm brushing everything to the side, almost like I'm doing a side ponytail. It's really important that you get everything, all of the grain going really clean to the side, and that's what's gonna make the style look really strong. Spray a little on your brush. So the twist is probably the hardest part, but you also don't have to make it look completely perfect. It's almost better if there's a little bit of an imperfection to it. Then you twist the end of the ponytail, and then it's almost like you're doing a French twist, but you're doing it on the side. You want to make sure that it's high enough. And you secure it with a large pin or a clip with a spine too. It's like you're just sewing along the seam. And again, it doesn't have to be totally perfect. I think that's what's gonna make it look a little bit more modern and not so done. So you just put it in going one direction and twist it around, and then you press down and that secures it. Now you're working from the front, so you really do wanna make sure that this, it's pretty tight through here. Now this is the fun part is the front, and just using your tail comb, Always just like rolling and tucking. Just remember that. All right, she's all set. This is my interpretation of a 40s hairstyle. Even though it looked really complicated, you saw what I did. I took the each section and I added the texture with a flat iron, brushed it out, and then I created my twist. And again, like I said, you just can do it really fast. It's super easy. Okay, so let me know what you think in the comments section and a thumbs up for more retro styles.